Hi everyone. Do you have foot drop due to MS, fibromyalgia, a stroke, or because of some other condition? Well, if you do, this video this week is for you. We're shifting gears just a little bit from the exercise this week to focus more on active rest modalities. And our in-house yoga instructor, Michelle Silva, is gonna guide you through a chair yoga session focused on foot drop to help you reduce tightness in your ankles, calves. So all you're going to need to perform this yoga class is a chair, possibly an exercise band or towel if you have one, in your very best effort. Namaste. Hi, Stephanie Pacers. Thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, a little yoga for your active rest day, focusing on foot drop today. Okay. So we do have some props we're going to use. I've got my strap. I do prefer a, like a taut strap instead of the band for this. Um, band will work just fine. Of course, always adapt it, make it work for you. But if you do have like a proper belt or, you know, a piece of like fabric or a strong scarf or something like that, that would work well for this. Because for the foot deck, we do need a lot of stretch and resistance. And so sometimes the strap with the bounces doesn't give us quite enough oomph. But if that's what you got, it's going to work just fine. No big deal. I've also got a block. So again, not everybody has a yoga block lying around. Um, and it's a nice thing to have if you find you're coming to practice and wanting to use it. You can buy the cheap it online. Um, a book, a... I don't know, a little basket or something. We're going to do some foot stretching. So getting the foot up on the block so the ankle can drop down. So like if you have a stirrup, you might be able to work it that way to get it there. Um, so anything like that for class we'll use today. So if you need to pause, gather up some stuff, go ahead and do that now. I'm going to grab a sip of water while you do that. Okay, hopefully that enough time to gather up your stuff. I'm not going to pause. I'll see you back in a second. If you're ready to get started, go ahead and scoot back into your seat, finding something comfortable, okay? And go ahead and stretch your feet out a little long. And if you're going to, you know, pick up and move, pick up and move, do what you got to do. But I like letting the legs extend out a little further past the knee. You know, we usually keep them kind of 90 degree, take them a little further out this time. Hands resting on the thighs. We're going to start with some centering, some breathing. So take a moment in your seat to become comfortable. Wiggle in, make adjustments. And take a few deep breaths. Be with the breath as it enters and exits. Give yourself a moment or two to center, meaning coming into the space, coming into your body, setting the intention to practice yoga, setting the intention to honor your body on your active rest day. That means something different for all of us. So adapt the practice to make it work for what you need. Breathe in, nice and full. Let yourself expand. And then emptying out completely. Maybe open the mouth, release the breath. Expanding a little more fully with every inhale. Expanding into the ribs, the belly. And feeling yourself soften and melt on the exhale. Riding the breath like waves, flowing in, flowing out. Right now, you are practicing yoga. Do your best to be present. Some days are easier than others. Take one more deep breath with me all the way in. All the way out. Doing a body scan. Just noticing what you feel in your body. No harshness, no judgment as you go through. Starting at the top of the head. Bring your awareness down the head, down the forehead, back of the head, temples. Down past the cheekbones. 
sides of the face. Feel the tongue in the mouth, the jaw, front of the throat, back of the throat, sides of the neck, shoulders, arms, chest, abdomen. Bring your awareness down into your seat, your hips, thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles, top of the feet, bottom of the feet, and all 10 toes. Direct your next breath all the way down into your toes. And letting the breath go, empty out. And start in the shoulders, alternating shoulder rolls, one at a time, no big deal. I kind of start upper body, then work down to lower body. Make the shoulder rolls nice and big and dramatic. Really get some good movement going in the shoulder. Yeah. So do both shoulders at the same time, shrug them up and back. Mostly do shoulder rolls back. I don't see much point in going forward. That's kind of where they hang out all day. So use this opportunity to roll and back and down. If forward feels good to you, take some forward rolls. Okay, let's release the shoulders down. Nice gentle side neck stretch. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Breathe into it. So that expansion that happens as we inhale, that actually kind of stretches and opens. There's some good research that shows when we imagine, we visualize our breath going to a specific area, that area actually does receive more blood flow, which is always good. Nourish those muscles, feed them. So again, direct your breath where you feel this most, most likely in the side of the neck, maybe in the shoulder, even in the armpit a little bit there. Uh, breathe into it. Now imagine you're lengthening through the top of the head, being stretched through the top of the head, lengthen through the top, bring the head back up to center, and then gently take it the other way, second side. Gotta give it plenty of time, attention, breath, just like the first side. Direct your breath to where you feel this most. Feel the pulsing breath. And the oxygen. Directing the blood flow where you need it. Nice mindful breathing helps to calm us. Center us, right? Couple more breaths. And again, link into the top of the head to lift up. Just keeping the neck nice and long there. Really simple. We're going to look to one side. Doesn't matter which side. Just look to a side. If you're still at the back of your chair, pin your shoulders to the back of the chair. So hug the shoulder blades onto the back. Good. Keep the shoulder blades on the back of the chair as you turn your head to the side. Keeping the shoulders facing forward is getting the neck stretch here. Keep drawing the shoulders back. It's a little harder than it looks. Good. And then nice and easy, swing the face back through center. Go the other way. Maybe wiggle into the shoulders, reset them hard onto the back, squeeze them back, pin them to the back of the chair. Looking in the other direction. Good. 
and nice and easy, bring the head back to center. Cool. Let's grab the strap for this next part. Once we've got it, might as well use it. Okay. Taking the strap nice and wide, wide arms. And the symbol up and over. The closer you walk the hands together, the tighter this will become. So really just trying to find a stretch that works. You know, if the shoulders are moving up and out, that's fine. Normally, you know, we kind of cue the shoulders down the back. But just it's easy just to loosen up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now bring the arms up by the ears. Drop the shoulders down in the way. So bending the elbows helps to do that. And also widening at the hands helps to really drop the shoulders down. Okay. So no need to have the shoulders up dry the ears. Again, they spend all day up there. No need for that. Gonna take a little side curve. Oh. So I tend to kind of lean over and collapse. Resist that urge. Think about rounding over. And then gently go up. Take it to the other side. Good. Round, round, round over to the other side. And then bring it up. Bring the arms out in front. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this one a little better. Walk your hands a little wider than shoulder width. So they're, you know, what's that, two feet apart maybe? Good. Reach it forward. Pull it back. So shoulder blades forward, shoulder blades back. Good. You can do the little cat-cow if that feels better in your back. But see if for a moment you can just simply isolate the shoulders. Extend forward. And then pin the shoulders onto the back. Okay, do that a few times. Good. And then take it into that rounded cat cow. Reach forward. Now sweep up, little back bend. So maybe you need to sit up off the back of the chair. Maybe feeling leaning back on it feels good. Up to you. Little back bend. Lift the hearts to the sky. Ah, and release. Fantastic. Ah, have the strap nearby. Just move it off to the side for now. Grab that block prop that you're using. We're going to do the foot stretch out in front. Okay. So let's start one foot at a time. Maybe you're going to pick up the foot, give it some help, getting the foot on the block here. Okay. So... You want the bottom ball of the foot on the edge of your block prop here. So the heel can really drop down and wiggle around. Remember, you're not stuck, and you'll kind of figure it out. If something's not quite jamming with you, wiggle around, find it. There's plenty of time. Okay, remember, you can always pause. You can do the same side twice if that's what your body needs. Okay, so dropping the foot in. All right. The more you lean forward and press your heel down, the more you're going to feel this. Oh, boy. Big stretch. Take it easy. We're going to come back to this later in class. So, we'll, you know, you'll have another opportunity to get a big stretch out of it, okay? So, again, maybe you're kind of leaning forward, giving a little weight. Maybe just gravity is good for you. Find it here. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. And like we did at the very beginning of class, direct your breath all the way into the sole of the foot. I feel this in my shin, so I'm going to direct the breath there, wherever you're feeling this. Flood the breath into that body part. And then see if there's any kind of space to release into as you breathe out. Cleansing exhale. Maybe you want to visualize that tension leaving your body as gray smoke out of your nostrils or your mouth. Maybe you want to imagine the body part that you're breathing into lengthening as you breathe in and softening as you breathe out. Okay, walk yourself up. And we help the foot off, especially if that was a big stretch. Slowly take it back down to the floor. And then other side. Move your prop to the other foot. 
not very exciting, not very glamorous, but really good for us. Okay, find that ideal spot just below the ball of the foot on the edge of your prop there. Wiggle around, find your ideal spacing, and then find your stretch on this side. Again, it might be totally different than the first. It's okay, explore. You're not stuck, you can back up, you can add more, up to you. Let's go through that same mindful process of breath again. So eyes closed if you're comfortable, draw the awareness inward. Start by sending the breath all the way down into the sole of your left foot. Moving the breath to wherever you feel this most. Nice full breaths all the way down into the leg. Notice if you picked up some tension in the face or shoulders, release that. Do two more big deep breaths. And taking your time, easing your way out. Walk it up slow. Help the leg off, foot back to the floor. Ah. And again, let's move that prop off to the side. And we'll use it later. Okay. Let's work on the toes a little bit here. <coughs> it helps if you can see the toes. If you can't, it's still going to work, okay? Peel up all ten toes up off of the floor. I wonder if I need to scoot back a little bit so you can see that. Okay. Peel up all ten toes off the floor as best you can, right? Just sending that message from the brain to the feet to do it, whether it happens or not, still effective, okay? Trying to lift the toes up, open the toes wide, and then fan them down to the floor, okay? And then scrunching, scrunching. You may have done this before for foot top where you get a towel underneath and scrunch, okay? So the towel just makes this a little more active, Okay, we're in an active rest day, so we're taking it easy. Just kind of give them scrunching. All right, and then one of my personal favorites, lift up the front of the foot as best you can, right? It's foot drop, so that might not be happening just yet. Totally cool. All I want you to do is drag the toes from outside to inside. So getting the toes kind of open wide by dragging them. Feel that pinky open up a little bit. Nice, good foot stretch here. Three deep breaths into the toes. One more breath. Okay. All right. Now we're going to work on hero pose feet. So this might take a little effort. We're going to try to get the foot underneath us. If underneath isn't available, you can wiggle it to the side. Good. I like underneath because the thigh gets a little more supported. Again, this is just a little more mild version, so you might prefer this, again, or maybe you're able to get the foot under the chair. Depends, too, how high your chair is up on the floor. That's going to make a big difference, too. Okay. So, do your best you can trying to get the top of the foot onto the floor. We're going the other direction now. Okay. So, we're going to the top of the foot on the floor, tops of the toes on the floor. And you can push down into the top of the foot to get a little more active stretch out of this. You can keep it nice and passive, let gravity do the work for you. Totally up to you. It might feel good to kind of pulse in and out. If you're real tight, but that stretch feels good, you know what I'm talking about, just kind of pulse in and out a little bit. Just be in your body, be mindful, be present, what's working, what's not working. If you are starting to get a cramp, please come out of this. No need for that. We're going to feed a little massage after this. Okay. Take your time. Give the legs some help. Go slowly. It's a big stretch. And bring the foot back. Okay. Simply moving to the other side. 
All right, so maybe you're turning to the side, maybe you're working that foot underneath your chair, then give yourself plenty of time, <coughs> excuse me, to sort it out. Again, we're trying to get the very top of the foot on the floor, tops of the toes on the floor, so the toenails are on the mat. Take your time, figure it out, and if you want to add a little more activity, you can press the top of the foot down. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Okay. And then we're just going to breathe. Not very exciting, but really therapeutic. Okay. If you're starting to kind of seize up, cramp, you start to feel that start up, exit out. Take a couple breaths. Okay. Gently, easy. Bring it back to center. Okay. Take that leg, lift it up. The little figure four pose. So I have to reach and grab my thigh, pull it out to the side there just to feel comfortable in my seat, right? And just how you need to get right. Figure four, really nice for the hip, low back. We're going to give the foot some love here. Just, again, just massage your foot out. Take the sole of the foot. Give it a good rub. Nice elongating strokes up and down the foot. Support your ankle. Okay, that might feel good. And then we're going to grab to the toes. And just a little front to back. Give the toes some movement. So the pinky toe gets a little stuck sometimes. See if you can get it involved. Get some movement there as well. Again, it might not be going very far. Still counts, okay? So you get the toes going. Maybe you can get the whole foot going with the hand here. We're going to loosen up the ankle, the foot, all those tendons that run down there. Okay, and then take some gentle circles. So you might want to grab the ball of the foot if grabbing the toes is a little much. Circle it out. Now go the other direction with your circles. Okay. Release. Let's do the other side. Take your time. Other leg. Wiggle into your seat until you find what's comfortable. It's important that you're comfortable in yoga. You're not going to continue to do it, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Reach for the toes and start with some toe movement. We'll get the foot involved in a second. Let's get the toes flexing and pointing. I feel this all the way in the outside of my knee. So all these tendons, much like the arm and the wrist, they all run down through the channel of the ankle. Everything's connected. Okay, now get the whole foot involved. Point and flex. Okay, grab your ankle. Give it some support. See if you can get a pinky toe going. Get it some movement as well. Okay, circles. Other direction. Oh, we forgot. I forgot. We forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Massage out your foot. Yeah, nice long strokes. I didn't forget. I just remembered late, I guess. But it just serves a massage, just like the first one. Rub it out. Okay, and now release. Okay, we're going to use the strap for this next part. Good. We're going to sit all the way back in the chair. So the back has some support. 
Again, we're focusing on the lower body. Let the upper body feel nice and stable. Okay, loop your strap around the left foot. Let's start there. So like we did when we were on the block earlier, you want to get the strap at the ball of the foot so we can get that nice flex, all right? Lean back and just simply we're going to pick up the foot, pull back, okay? So here's where it's nice to have something that's not bouncy. If you're using a band, that's okay. It's still working. Might be good to double up the band, okay? And really push out through the heel. Oh, boy. Pin your shoulder blades onto the back. Squeeze them back and down. So we're using arm strength here. Push up the heel. Pull back through the toes as much as you're comfortable with. If you start to get a little cramp, back up. And ever so gently, use your hands to draw some circles. So I'm using my arm strength and not my leg strength. Go the other way now. Excellent. Bend the knee and release. Other side. And take your time. Set it up. Lean back. Back is supported. Good. Kick out to lift the leg up. Okay. Shoulders on the back. Pin them there. Down the back. Arms are active. Elbows are bent. Okay. Pull back in the strap as you press out through the heel. Nice of elongation. I feel this all up my calf. Keep pushing through the heel, pulling back as much as is right for you. Breathe deep. And my shoulders are starting to creep up. Notice if yours are. Take them down. And I keep pulling back and pushing out through the heel. Draw some small circles. Okay, go the other way with your circles now. Using the arms. Okay, bend the knee, take that foot down. Ooh, okay, keep the strap under the foot. We're going to do that again. Just take a moment. I know my hands are kind of tired, gripping real strong. Shake the hands out. When you're ready, we're going to do both legs here. So work to get both feet in the strap. Lean back. Pull back as you kick out. You can hold this. You can bend down and up. Do a little heel touchdowns or maybe all the way touchdowns. But up to you. Just wanting to get some flex in the foot. Mimic kind of lifting the leg up a little bit. Toes back, heel out. And get it where you're at. Breathe into it. And then bend, release. Fantastic. Move the strap off to the side. Good. Move the feet around, legs around, do a little dance on the floor, whatever you need to do. Grab the block prop again. Okay. We're going to do both feet on there. So working to get the base of the ball of the foot on there. Get leaning back might feel good. Leaning forward might give you a little something extra. Totally up to you. Okay. Go with the stretch. Move into it. Instead of trying to kind of resist and lift, drop those heels down. Let gravity do its thing here. A couple breaths. Good. Come on up. Leaning forward, and do a little toe drop down. So take one toe to the floor, and then the other, getting the toes a little stretched that way. Okay. And now walk your feet so that the edge of your block prop is right in the arches of your feet. Just simply let the heels drop down. Deep breath. 
and release. Okay, done with the props. <coughs> Excuse me. Wiggle it all the way back into your chair. Sit down, relax. Let's turn the palms up. Find a comfortable spot for the feet. Maybe extend the legs out a bit. Settling into some stillness and possibly closing down the eyes. Giving your body some time to settle into the changes you've made. Enjoying some mindful breaths. Some time to simply be and let the practice resonate. Doing the body scan, starting at the top of the head, gently working all the way down until you get to the soles of your feet. I'll close my time with you here, but please feel free to pause for as long as you'd like, as long as you can. I wish you peaceful thoughts, peaceful words, and peaceful actions. I hope today's class helped with your foot drop, and namaste. Our YouTube channel is a great place to start gaining strength, but if you want to get serious about reducing your symptoms and getting results, then you need to be on a weekly structured strength training program with other individuals just like you. And that's exactly what we offer at MS Workouts through our membership. Click the link in the video or below the video to learn how our membership can help you achieve your goals. And while you're on the website, make sure you sign up for the no cost seven day strength camp so you can experience how we can help you do the things that you love to do with more confidence. See you all next week.